Hey guys, this is Brianna with Crafting with Brie, and I wanted to show you a gable heart box that I am making for my husband for Valentine's Day. Something not girly and has an edgy kind of feel. It is the gable box, the heart gable box, sorry about that, um, with the heart and then the little keyhole there. And I got this from, I cut the box from Tags, Bags, Boxes and More 2. And it's on page 26. And I did the sections here. I don't know if you can see that. The sections. And I cut those out at 7 inches on 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Just black cardstock. So, and then this is the size that you get. And the completed size is three and a half by four and a half inches tall. And I stamped it and embossed it with a stamp set from TPC Studio Retro Technology. And it says, we're a good mix. And I did that with black embossing powder. And then from Studio G, that little heart right here, and you can barely see it. There we are. Maybe that's a better look. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how I made this. And so you can give it to maybe one of the men in your life. So here we go. I first have two pieces here. This is box section one and box section two of Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More of the Gable Heart Box. Cut at 7 inches on 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Now what we're going to do... I also scored it on my machine. I used my score um, little, my brain just went blank, the score, the scoring blade. And so I don't know if you can see those score blades on, the score marks on there. Let me see. Right there's one right there and then right here and then right here. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, you can see my fingerprints. I was eating gummy bears earlier, sorry. And so it's on both of them. If you can see that. Sorry about the lighting, it's not so great. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to, we're going to first work on just putting this together here. So I'm just gonna grab my handy dandy ATG gun and just, this is a little tab right here. So we're gonna take that tab and connect it to this one. Okay, and now we have one long piece so we can fold it and then it'll go into a box shape, yes? Okay, so let's put this to the side for a moment and we're going to use perfect medium and the stamp that says we're a good mix and we're going to stamp onto this red cardstock this cardstock is cut at four centimeters by eight centimeters and then what i did i just rounded the corners with the quarter punch on my chomper so we're going to ink this up and we're just going to center that. There we are. And we might as well stamp the other one while we're at it, right? Because there is a front and a back on it. Let's do that. And center that one. Okay. And on the cassette I did use just black embossing powder by Zing that has an opaque finish from American Crafts. So I'm just going to sprinkle that liberally onto. Oh, I should have told y'all that um, with embossing powder, you might want to run a fabric softener sheet over your cardstock 
so you don't have random flecks of embossing powder and I forgot so that well it is what it is but um, it's gonna be manly and rugged so I mean my husband I don't think is gonna notice a few specks so I'm just gonna just dump the larger pieces and there we are <clears throat> I'm just gonna put this to the side and put this away in a bit so here you can see that I have put embossing but there's no really shimmer on it so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take my embossing gun and just heat it away and just make sure to keep your heat moving you don't want to burn your cardstock or your paper because then that wouldn't look so so hot. We have one done. Another one. Okay. And I don't know if you can see that, but now it is very shimmery and it's just very cool and it's like we're a good mix which me and my husband are so it works and I am going to take my corner chomper and chomp this this other one here on all four corners just to give it a little bit of a not so square look and then we're going to take this heart whew, hello this heart stamp from the Studio G it was one of the little dollar stamps that I got. You know, they always have them at the front at Joann's. And so, I'm just going to take my perfect medium and stamp the medium onto my paper. One little heart. I think I might have to do it on this side. Two little hearts. Okay, and I'm just going to dump the red embossing powder onto the little heart. And this color is Rich Red Embossing Powder by Ranger. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I believe I got the Zing at Hobby Lobby as well. So just going to fleck that a little bit. Put those to the side and I'm going to put this away in a minute. Okay, and then we're just going to use the embossing gun to heat the set the heart and that's really quick because it's so small. And here we are. Here we are, shiny, shiny heart. We're a good mix. Okay, so we're going to put those to the side. And now we're going to work on, oh, pause, I'm sorry. Before you get your box put together, you're going to want to put your side on because it's just, it's, it's, it's your decorations, anything, because it's just, it gets more complicated and you don't want to mess up your, in, your box trying to push down a, to make sure that it's taped down very well or stuck down. So I'm just gonna take my ATG gun here and I'm just going to tape the sides and get all four sides and one in the center just for good measure. And I'm trying to see here like where my lines are and just going to, can y'all see my head? <laughs> um, just trying to center that and there we are. Okay, just push that down. And I don't know if you can see that, but I did get a few black over here. A little bit of spots of the embossing powder, but that's okay. My husband probably won't even notice. He, We both wear glasses, so it's not like we can see very much detail anyway when it's not the best of lighting, so. Um, then I'm gonna stick this one on this side and just kind of center that and pat that down. So there we have it. So on the large sections of the box, we just stuck down 
are embossed images. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be folding on all of the score lines and we're going to fold up. I can still feel some embossing powder. Okay. So the way I usually do it is I start on the long side. So I just fold up and score. I fold up and score. I fold up and score. So there we have this. And we have one more little score here. And it'll go like this, like so. So now we have to do the ones from up. We're gonna take it from here and we're going to fold up and just bone folder it. I probably was saying score and score and score and I meant just use your bone folder and just reinforce your score lines. That's what I meant. It's late. Okay. And then one more on this side. Okay, so then we have these four on the bottom to make the base of the of the box. And I just have some extra ATG. And here we fold down. So this is the top of the box. I don't know if you can see that. The top we're gonna fold down. Fold down and reinforce the score line. And just continue down the line, just work it all the way to the end. And sometimes, I'm gonna be honest, with the score, tool, the scoring tool in the Cricut, um, I'm not really, I don't think it works that great. I mean, on Tags, Bags, Boxes, and more, it did give you the, the score marks. You know, so it's just like it has like the little cuts in the paper, the ticks, the cut marks. But this one, I mean, it is kind of hard. So even when you like see them, it doesn't fold very well. I mean, it's not a very good score line. Okay. Anyways, um, on these top ones, you do not fold in like the others. You fold out towards. So you want you need to see that again. Okay. Here's your image. Here's that, you fold this over this way. So red is there, you fold over. So it'll meet correctly in the center because your box holds together like this. So then we're gonna do this other one here. Reinforce that score line. So then we have something that looks like this. I guess maybe this will help y'all, <laughs> hello. So this folds under, then this is straight, then this folds over, and then this folds over on itself, okay? So then we take our ATG gun and fold this flap. We have an extra flap here. We're folding this over, and we're going to put ATG gun here, or tape or whatever type of adhesive you'd like. And you you want to meet underneath. Can you see that? You're gonna meet underneath. And you're gonna line up. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see from this direction, but you're gonna line it up, make sure it's straight. Line it up. And then push it down. So then we have this now starting to look like a box. I really do love this little keyhole. That's super cute. Okay, so to, to fold in your box at the bottom, what you're going to do is, you're going to see you have this shape, like it looks like kind of like two little legs if it's from here. So you have like two little legs, then you have kind of like an upside down, it almost looks like a bowl there, and then you have a foot and another foot. What you're going to do, the first thing you're gonna fold up is your two legs. So fold your two legs up. 
This is the easiest way I found. You're going to take your feet and you're going to hold your legs, tuck your feet under, just the toes. I don't know if you can see that. It's really bad lighting. You're going to tuck your toes underneath. So then it's going to look like that. Okay, so you have your feet tucked in to your legs. Then you're going to take the bowl and you're going to tuck it into there. So then you have the base of your box. And it stands up pretty. And it so one more time, you're going to take the things that look like legs. That's what you're going to fold up first. So fold your legs up, then your the ones that look like little feet. You're going to tuck the toes underneath and just tuck them under. So then it looks like that. And then you're going to tuck that into itself. Okay? So now here you just fold you just make them meet. Just meet each other. Meet in the center. And then you're just gonna tuck one into the little heart. And then tuck two. And there we are. And you have yourself a gable heart box for the Valentine in your life. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Um, I am new to making videos, so please be nice. Um, um, I just have you, I hope y'all have a really wonderful holiday and y'all be safe out there and thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.